This is my dog Minnie. She doesn't know the decorator pattern. She can't watch my video. But you can. And once you watch my video, you'll know the decorator pattern. But Minnie won't. Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about the decorator pattern. So the decorator pattern is kind of useful if you need to augment maybe say some third party class and you don't have access to it and you want to maybe wrap it in some functionality. And yes, I didn't cho just choose the word wrap um, just kind of randomly there. The decorator pattern can be thought of as the wrapper pattern also. So uh, hopefully this isn't too involved here. Um, what we will start with here is a little bit of code here. This code um, has a game service in it and it's a console app and all it does is it gets a list of games from somewhere, displays them out, says we're all done, awesome. But it does depend on some slow expensive things. So first off, let's see how slow and expensive this thing is here. So it's using some old slow way. It prints out Pac-Man Dig Dug and Prince of Persia. Great, all done. Now, the reason it's really slow is we have this fake some third party library over here. Think of this as maybe you, you referenced a, a DLL, and this slow expensive thing over here is fake slow. In fact, I'm doing a thread sleep here, so and it just returns a static list here. So the reason it's slow in this case is here, but maybe think of uh, some slow app out there and you wanna make it faster. Um, what we're gonna do is a classic today. So we're going to trade out some slow expensive thing with something fast and cached. Now, uh, again, the, the premise here is we can't actually go into this class because I know myself and some of you might just come in here and make this somehow more fast, you know, add caching. But the idea here is you don't have access to this class and you need to augment this in some way. There, there's no way to override this class. And even if you could, let's, let's imagine that this was like really long, laborious, and it was kind of difficult. So we don't want to just re-implement uh, iGame Lookup Provider itself. And that's important that our dependency has a uh, interface that we can implement because what we will do is we will create a new class and we're going to call it something uh, like a uh, fast and cached game thing. Yes already sounds awesome. And the crux here of uh, all this is, in fact, let's take a step back. So if we look at our game service, we created a game service, and this is our code, and it depends on an iGame lookup provider. And um, you could imagine that this game service might also be third party. It'll work in that situation too. This is our code. But the idea here is, is we'll be able to switch out some slow expensive thing with a fast cash thing. So. Um, we're going to use the same interface, so I game lookup provider, and we're going to use Mr. Resharper here. Maybe it's a miss, Miss Resharper, and there we go. We have some video game lookup. Now, the decorator pattern is interesting because what it does, and let's use a or create a constructor. What it does is it takes a dependency of another. Um, interface so or well it's the same interface so we're gonna take it and we're gonna call this the inner game lookup provider and mr. resharper we're also going to use you again and so during the execution of this we will have a game lookup provider so uh, if we want it to work just like it normally does right now we could do return I game lookup provider video game list and it will do exactly what uh, whatever we pass in here so let's go ahead and test this out so what we can do is we can make this go away and we can depend on new fast cache thing. Now it's going to take another iGame loop provider. So let's pass it the old one real quick. I promise you this will make sense in a moment. So if we run this here, um, we're still using the old slow way. So we can kind of confirm that yes, we're doing it the old slow way it takes three seconds to do so. So let's stop that and go back here. Now, wouldn't it be great that, or if we could say, you know what? if something were true, return a cached instance of this. So first off, I guess we need to come back up here. Let's go, um, let's see, I enumerable string. Why this? Because this is what uh, the uh, get video game list provider returns a, a, a list of strings. 
So, uh, so I'm just going to call it cached list right now. So if we say if cached list equals null, um, now I want you to do cached list equals this slow, expensive way to do it. So yes, the first person visiting or using this will pay. And then we can just return the cached list. So um, let's prove it works by running and using the old slow way still and three seconds and we're done okay so let's see what happens when now we run this a second time so we're gonna kind of do some copy paste here and we'll get rid of the bar so this will run it twice using the old slow way and ooh, we got the list twice hmm let's make this a little more verbose and we're gonna say we're using the new way. So let's see, console.write line progress. All right, so if we run this again, using the old slow way, and now we have the new way, and there we go. In fact, let's do it one more time here and just be absolutely sure that it's way faster now. Bam, there we go. This should work. Uh, sh we should see it display three times. First way, slow, expensive, and then the other th uh, couple times there, it's super fast. So what makes uh, this um, awesome is game service doesn't care that there's this kind of inner outer thing going on here. It just needs an iGame lookup provider. And if we look at the fast thing here, a hallmark of the decorator pattern is you take a dependency of the existing implementation. We call that the inner game lookup provider. We tuck that away somewhere, and then we can do whatever we want here. Now, so uh, imagine you want to add logging to this third-party library. Well, you could, uh, if it's open source, you could open it up, fork it, uh, you know, recompile it, whatnot. Or you could just do a similar thing. It says, hey, use this new logging provider. In fact, hey, let's do it. So let's add a new class. And we'll call this one loggable uh, game list provider. And you're going to go over here and say you're an iGame lookup provider. Miss Resharper, help me out. Very good. There you go. And I'm going to add that private. Oops, you know what? A constructor. Trust me, I. Uh, sometimes know what I'm doing. 30% of the time I know what I'm doing. So we're going to take a dependency of another game lookup provider and we could pass it the old one, we could pass it the cached ones, whatever you want to do. If you want it to be cached and use logging, we're going to do something like this. So uh, we're going to take the inner game lookup provider and we're going to get the game list and we're going to return it. However, this time and I'm not going to put a full logging framework in here. Trust me, I'm, I'll trust you that you know how to do that. And I got two thoughts going on there. And maybe we'll log it afterwards, too. Um, like the list was whatever. So we can do string.join. Uh, do, do, do. Do list. Now we can return the list. And if we come back out here to our program, now we can say, why don't we use a new loggable list provider? And it still wants one. So at this point, we could pass just the old one, or we could also pass the new one. So fast cast game thing and new slow expensive thing. So, so far, I hope you're tracking with me. And we should get a lot more going on here this time. So we're beginning, we're logging, we're going to use the new way, and first we visit the old way. So we get a list here, and we can see it goes to the log. Here's the actual output we were getting. The second time around, we're still logging it. We're only using the new way. We're logging it, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So anyway, that's the decorator pattern. Um, it can help you augment uh, functionality that maybe you don't have control to by wrapping uh, the other functionality in a class. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.